public photography training been updated for Punta Gorda? Hey man, can we talk to you for a second? Can you get off your phone, please? Yeah, Lieutenant, I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm, I'm being uh, surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six police for exactly what we're talking about. So, uh, I appreciate your time, and uh, I will, I, I will contact you later. All right, thanks, sir. All right. Yes, folks, how are we doing today? Good, yourself? Doing wonderful. Can we help you? No. No, sir. Okay, we're, is there a reason why you were back there in a restricted area? Uh, well, I checked, and it just said authorized uh, vehicles only. Uh, I didn't see a sidewalk, and okay. another officer came out and said hello, and okay. that was is there, it. Is there a reason why you're taking pictures of our squad cars? Just gathering information. Okay. Is, there, is there a reason? Perfect. To, to disseminate to the public? Exactly what, though? I mean, you're... you're taking pictures of our squad cars, what information is in the in those photos that you want to disseminate? The public can see our squad cars. Right. Driving them around all the time. And can, can I get your name and badge numbers for the record, please? Uh, I'm Officer Spahn, S-P-O-H-N, badge number 1076. Yes, sir. Can we get your name? Uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather not give that right now. All right, then. Cool, buddy. Hey, what's your name, sir? Questions or anything for what, us? What's your name, sir? What's that? Do you have any other questions or anything? Name and badge number. That's her. And your badge number, sir? That's M. Fisher. Yeah. Badge number? 1074. 1074. And yours, ma'am? M. Carrie, 1123. Cool. All right. Great, great. Yeah. Like, I, I checked. I, I just saw authorized vehicles only. I didn't say see anything about restricted. For future reference, yeah. I'm going to verbally inform you that is a restricted area. Absolutely. So you can't be back there in the future. Okay. Anywhere yeah. Anywhere past or center of those cars are parked. Yeah. Okay. When the cop came out, he yeah. said hello and... We got called for a call for a check. It's fine. Okay. All right. Y'all have a great day. Hey, you too. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks for keeping an eye on us. Thank yes, sir. You. First amendment audit. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. I appreciate you keeping us safe. Well, it's it's expressing your constitutional right. I love it. Yes, sir. It's great. So can it, can I have a conversation with you? Sure. You seem interested in it. I'm I'm very I interested it. in it. Sure. Why do you think it is that police officers um, get so antsy around? cameras now I get like I didn't realize well, I don't think that that's a fair thing that they get antsy around cameras I think that you guys have to understand just like privacy I mean you wouldn't want me walking around your house videotaping and looking in your window yeah right? but this is this is a, a publicly funded sure. building it's a public entity. I understand that and, and I'll be honest with you I, I mean walk around video I mean people go back there and do, they play their Pokemon like who gives a crap but right if you start looking into our window into the cars and stuff it kind yeah. of makes people think hey what you know I'm I mean looking to I get something out of my car I mean that's kind of you right know? ironically I was actually sitting there on the phone with a lieutenant and Punta Gorda, Florida. Oh yeah. Because uh, a couple of um, auditors got criminally trespassed from City Hall. Oh for, really? For doing the same thing. So I'm literally on the phone having uh, a conversation with him uh, on whether their uh, f um, photography training, public photography training, had been updated when you guys surrounded me. There's, there's public <laughs> photography training. I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like just the laws that concern public photography, like in Illinois specifically, ACLU versus Alvarez ruled. Uh -huh. That and it was specifically because people were getting uh, arrested for eavesdropping sure. on police conversations. Well, ACL versus Alvarez, Seventh District Court ruled that it's uh, a constitutionally protected activity to go into public places to film sure. uh, our public servants in the course of their duties in public. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I don't think cops can. I mean, that is the way it is. I mean, that's that's the world, right? I mean, yeah. Some we don't have body cameras, but some departments do. Oh, oh you guys don't have body cameras? Do not. No, no. Um, so, but but I mean I just got surrounded by like I know six because, officers. Well, I mean I don't disagree. It's, I mean you know that that's basically because there's six officers here and when somebody wants something to do, right? You know, <laughs> I just walked around this whole building. That's more energy than I want to yeah. spend for the day. So Absolutely. I don't see a big deal. I don't understand what your what this First Amendment audit purpose is. To be honest well, if you. if you want to know, it's sure. it's I'm uh I'm because uh, this is like the second or third time. Is it? Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm visiting the area, number one. So, oh, yeah. where are you from? Uh, Tennessee. Oh, really? So, right. for me, and it's... You intentionally came here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'd I've... rather live in Tennessee. Well, I, I got a girlfriend here, so... Okay, all right, you know. fair enough, fair enough. Um, but for me, specifically, it's just... If you don't use your rights, you, you lose your rights. Right, but what is videotaping, like, our police cars? Well, that's to see how our public tax dollars are being spent. Oh, all right, fair enough. So, and that's why I come to like city halls and, sure. and you know, so it's, it's, I'm not out trying to catch anybody doing anything. Do you think our public tax dollars are being spent okay? Uh, yeah. How are we doing? I mean, this is, this is a great building. This is it's actually. building. It needs a lot of work. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, because they've they've chosen you know, the city's chosen to use their money for things other than new carpeting, right? In order to put their services back towards the city. Oh, that's so that's great. So, but yeah, um, I mean, do you have any other questions for me? I so don't, maybe I'm you just... can like learn a little bit more about you know our our intention behind what we do. I don't... I don't have an issue with the, your intention behind what you guys do. I mean, it's right. Great. Or our motivations, I guess I should say. I don't take issue with that. I think you guys just had to understand that there are certain things that you can't necessarily see. There's just, there are private things. And oh, yeah. We aren't, you know, this isn't a CIA facility. We're not a black site or something. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, and I, I would never intentionally go into a restricted area. I don't, I mean, getting all worked up because you're back there videotaping our cars, you could pretty much stand at, next to that green car and videotape everything you're going to videotape walking back there. What difference does it make? Right, exactly. Well, the, what gets people concerned is that you're, if somebody's going to start going through our cars or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why people get... And it's, it's usually yeah. people get a little weird. Like, I could walk in there and walk through that whole building, go to any public office. Nobody's going to have a problem with it. But the second they see this camera sure you know well yeah i, I get it and then, you know but now, even there. if i had a pair of those glasses that had a camera okay right. they st they're being, being recorded they're not gonna have a problem with it you well, know so all right well uh right, officer, is it officer lieutenant sergeant oh, <laughs> it's, it's officer it'll always be well officer. sir they should they should put you uh, uh yeah i'll give yeah, i'll give right, that buddy. to you yeah nice to meet you absolutely you guys have a great day all right buddy. all right are you, what, are you just gonna go walk around in there yeah you gotta check it out Right, just so they don't get spooked out, are you cool if I just hang out in there? Yeah, man, so they absolutely. Yeah. There so you know, they don't freak out and call me back over. There, with that? There, there's this line I've wanted to use with with police. I haven't. I already ate. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. How I'm are you doing, sir? What's that I'm entertained. Um, there's a, there's a line I've actually wanted to use because most police officers come up and say, "Can you help me?" Sure. Uh, you know, yes, you can. You could help. You know, people like to come up and infringe our First Amendment rights. Could you help come right. up and uh and help enforce that? First Amendment right. I think that's a, that's a two-way street, isn't it? Huh. A, a lot of people complain that their First Amendment rights are infringing, and then they behave in a way, and then they complain that, why are you infringing mine? Like, how do you mean? Well, I think that there's... People say things, and say, oh, they say, oh, the police are racist, and then they say, well, my First Amendment rights are being trampled upon. There, There isn't two sides, right? There's no middle ground anymore. You're either left or right, right? Well, see, so, I... I think our yes. job, I think our job is a lot harder because of that. Oh, absolutely. Because I really could care less what you have to say. I just right. have to make sure that you don't endanger someone else or offend someone else, right? I mean, well, but offend. Offend is a very loose term, isn't it? Yes, right. And like and that's part of the, that's why it makes our job so much harder. But offensive language is protected under the First Amendment, sure. and that's Hill versus the City of Houston. Sure. Unless you're doing it in front of a group of say Boy Scouts that are standing here, and you're cursing and swearing and causing a huge scene, and these little kids are crying because of your behavior, right? See, that's where it gets hard, though. This, see, I'm, I'm a because if I was a parent, I would be upset that my kid is sitting here crying at your behavior. Yes, it, it would offend me. But right? I'm, a, I'm a constitutional purist, which means right. it might be offensive. There's a lot of things that people say about me that I. But where's the moral line, right? You as a morality, human being, yes, morality. Right? Now we're talking about morality. Yes, okay, morally, morally, yes. I'm that not is arguing wrong. that you don't have a right to say those things. Yeah. But at what point do you have to say, hey, listen, maybe my behavior absolutely. is affecting other people in a negative way. And absolutely. I, and I should take accountability for that. Yeah, I absolutely agree right? with that. That's absolutely all I'm totally. saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but and that so, is the difference between morality right. and, and, and the law. Right. So, like, but that doesn't you, mean... You just, understand that, but other people look at it as you're infringing on my First Amendment. And just right. because you can do it doesn't mean you always should do it. <laughs> right? So, you know. Now, how do we get other people to realize this? Through discourse like this, conversation like right. this. To, you know, so people know that there there are good cops out there that honor their oath to the Constitution and they're open to having a civil discourse uh, about these things Second Amendment, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, you know? Unfortunately, I think we're two people and maybe we can make a difference, but. Hey, all, it takes, is, right? all it takes is one to start. All right. All right. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I checked out Richmond's ordinances uh, earlier today. Sure. How are you? Hi. Hi. Can I help you, sir? Yes. How's it going? Do you want to go check out the police department? I'm going to check out the police department. It's not, it's not restricted, is it? Uh, it is not. <laughs> Nothing. This is just the lobby. So yeah. This is as far as I can let you go. Yeah, of course, of course. Sure, not to get them on camera. What? I'm working on being a YouTube sensation. I 
See, and that's another thing, the misinformation on that. People think you have to have permission to be video, videotaped in public. Now, I personally, you know, like, if it's an older woman, like, I'll uh, at a uh, um, post office, and there's an older lady that doesn't want to be filmed, I'm going to be courteous enough not to do that. You know, but especially public officials. Like, you know, they have no expectation. I mean, you do have to respect, I mean... It goes back to... It goes back she's to not the, a public official, she's just... Just a records clerk. Well, but she does work for the city, though. She, she does, but she doesn't make any decisions or do anything right. other than just. But the definition paper. definition of public official I, I, public I, 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 servant. I know, you know, I know, but you so, know what I mean. You can understand how it makes people uncomfortable. That's yeah, yeah. Like I'm not gonna put right. these. I would ask. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna put be, these folks on. Right. On film. It would be. It, get, it goes to that Fair like enough. rights versus morality, right? Right. Exactly. I do. I do have to say, uh, Officer Fisher, you are making your department look great. <laughs> so, well, you know, I do what I can. Um, speaking of which, I know that uh, a lot of um, police departments have complaint forms. Do you guys have a con commendation form? Do we have? I we do. <laughs> Probably have to dig one up. Is that? Yeah. Are you wanting a I would commendation love, form? Yes, sir. I would love right. to fill out well, a commendation form for you, sir. Okay, I'm gonna go catch some of the artwork in the lobby, and that. Yeah, that would be great. I'll meet you back. Out. All right. All right. All right, brother. Apparently, there's no we such have thing. Form, we have forms for complaints, but commendation. These are your three options. Okay. So you can either uh, write a letter to the chief. Okay. At the address right there, and that's the chief, or you can uh, send an email. And there's an email address right there. Beautiful. For well, you. Yeah. But I appreciate that. Yeah, that's exactly what I, I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate right. it. Uh, they need to make you a supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> that's on tape now. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's forever now. All right. Uh, All Fisher, right. You thanks again, sir. Anything, no, buddy? Uh, I'm good, All man. Right. I, I came to get what I wanted, and uh, it was cool. a great interaction. All Thank right. you, sir. Well, Have a great day. Stay Thank safe you. out there. Thanks. All right, guys. That was uh, quite an interesting experience uh in case part of the story ends up getting edited out just for time issues uh basically what happened was i was about to do an audit or is in the middle of doing an audit for uh the mchenry oop, what happened to my phone there we go for the mchenry illinois <laughs> municipal building and in the middle of the audit uh, a lieutenant from the punta gorda police um called me because uh, I wanted to find out about a civil rights violation that had been committed by their police department. Uh, some photographers were criminally trespassed from City Hall Annex. But uh, so I'm talking to him. I stopped the audit to talk to him. And as I'm on the phone, literally get surrounded by five police officers. That's where the, the tape is going to cut back on. Um, wow. That was kind of surreal. And then we ended up having a great conversation with uh, Officer Fisher uh, about the Constitution and what we do as auditors. So I hope he uh, I hope he shares that with the rest of the police officers. Um, all right, so I don't know about McHenry Police Department altogether because uh, that seemed a little uh, excessive to bring five or six police officers out for a guy with camera so I don't know about them but I'm gonna give officer Fisher an A plus um, y'all call McHenry County or not McHenry County but McHenry PD and make sure you commend that officer uh, I'll share how you can do it online as well so civil unrest news coming at you with another First Amendment audit uh, man engaging in unrest civilly it's exactly how you do it y'all have a great day